Greetings, you mighty champions. I'm Pastor Glenn Curry, and I'm sharing with you principles of success from the Bible and modern day history. I want you to succeed in life. God needs prosperous, successful people of integrity, men and women on this earth today to save our nation and save this world, really. Olympic uh, tracks champion Florence Griffith Joyner would leave inspired messages to herself in key places, in her bathroom, on the mirror, on the dashboard of her car, in her purse, on her refrigerator, to remind her that she could accomplish what she set out to do. She had a desire to, to beat the 400 meter race when other people had amazing times. She posted scriptures from Psalms to give her comfort and courage. One of her favorite inspirational uh, affirmations was, I can because I believe I can. Henry Ford said years ago, whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. I like that. Amen. Her Olympic medal attests to the fact that there's power in affirmation. There's power in believing in yourself. God wants you to believe in Him, but He does not want you to think less of yourself than who you are. And I told you in another teaching that the reason our self-confidence, our self-image self is poor is because we lie to ourselves. Man, tonight I'm not going to have any dessert. Uh, I'm going to start watching my weight. I see the numbers going up, the weight going up and then tonight you eat dessert. What did you do? You lied to yourself. You told yourself you couldn't do it. You might not realize that, but subconsciously, your subconscious mind knows that. And so I'm telling you that if you tell yourself, man, I'm going to become strong in the Lord and the power of His might. I'm going to lay hands on the sick and they're going to recover. I'm going to speak the word out of my mouth to encourage people. If you say that, then you got to do the work. you got to get, put the word of God in you so that it'll flow out of you. In uh, Joyner's workout video, the Flow Joe workout for mind, body, and spirit. You know the Bible says spirit, soul, and body, but she said it backwards, but that's okay. That's a lot of Christians say it backwards too. She had her viewers look in the mirror and say over and over again to themselves, believe, achieve, succeed. Believe, achieve, succeed. B-A-S. Well, she decided to do just that and it worked for her. I like BAM better. Believe, ask, manifest. That's what I want you to do from the Word of God. All right, you know when Jesus first met Pedro, I mean Peter, in Luke chapter 5, it came to pass, the Bible said, that as the people pressed on Jesus to hear the Word of God, he, I'm going to paraphrase it, he looked around and he saw a couple of boats by the lake, but the fishermen were gone out of them and they were washing their nets already, okay? So Jesus went and entered into a boat. I used to be on, before it sold secular, KFSG radio. I was on that for years. And it was, Amy Simple McPherson started it, and it was one of the most powerful, if not the most powerful Christian station in the world, at least at the time she started it. And, and while I was on it, I think it still had that reputation. They finally sold secular. But the point is, uh, there are stations over on like, that, that broadcast from Catalina, and somehow that salt air gives it a bounce. I, I'm not sure if KFSG was doing that. I think they were probably on Mount Wilson, but a lot of Christian stations and other stations broadcast from out on little islands because that salt air. And Jesus knew that principle. He wanted to talk to the people from the boat, okay? So Peter went out, took him out a little ways, thrust out a little bit from the land. Jesus sat down uh, so the people weren't, weren't crushing him. And he taught the people there, the Bible says. Now, when Jesus had finished speaking, he told Peter, Peter, launch out, because you gave me the boat for a while to use, you put something in God's hands. Uh, I'm going to put something in your hands. Launch out into the deep and let down your nets for a catch of fish. And Peter said unto him, Master, we have toiled all night and caught nothing. And I want to stop there for a minute. 
Should Peter tell Jesus, We fished all night, Jesus. We caught nothing. The fish in this lake, right here, they only come out at night, Jesus. My daddy was a fisherman, Jesus. My grandpa was a fisherman, Jesus. They only fished at night. People only catch fish here at night. It's broad daylight now, Jesus. Can you see that? I'm, I was in the process of washing my nets. That's a, big, that's a lot of work. If I let down a net or nets, I'm going to have to rewash this thing, Jesus. Don't you understand that? We know the best spots for the fish. And we do this seven nights a week, Jesus. And tonight we got nothing. I'm going to go home. I'm disappointed. My wife's going to yell at me, tell me I'm off with a girlfriend or something like that, or off at the bar. She's not even going to believe I went fishing tonight. Jesus, just let me go home and face the music. But Peter made a decision to do something other than what a lot of men would do. Remember what Peter said? Master, we toiled all night and have caught nothing. Here it is. The next part of that says, nevertheless, even though that's true, even though my grandpa and all this stuff I told you is true, nevertheless, at your word, I will let down the net. Notice Jesus said, let down your nets, plural. But Peter said, I'll let down a net. Okay. And when they had done that, remember, they enclosed a great multitude of fish and their net started to break and they had to call their buddies, whistle for them and call them over in another boat. And they all came and the fish came in all the nets and almost sunk all the boats. Well, when pa uh, Simon Peter saw that, he fell down at Jesus' feet and basically said, my Lord and my God, depart from me. I'm a sinful man, O Lord. He was astonished. And all those other fishermen with him were astonished. And everybody that fished that day were astonished that he had the only fish, right? Jesus said unto them, fear not, for from now on, you're going to catch men. And when they brought the ship to the land, they forsook everything. Hey, you other sh fishermen here, cleaning your nets, you can have my fish. I'm going with this guy. Man, he's a, he's a miracle worker, right? Businessmen like Peter, who had their own business, their own boat, their own nets, their own places to sell, made a decision that it was more profitable for him and all of those guys with him to follow Jesus than to, to sell their fish. Your perception is one of the most important of any aspects of your mind. Many people view any challenge, any setback, that's a sign. That's a confirmation that I really can't experience what I desire. And so what do they do? They quit trying. Any little inconvenience stops them. You don't, because you stop at a stoplight on your way to work, you don't turn around and go home. You still go to work. Just look at these little harassments that are coming against your dream as being stoplights. They're going to change to green. Successful people view challenges and setbacks that they encounter in life as part of the process of obtaining their dream. You got to do that too. They refuse to sweat it. Don't sweat the small stuff. Successful people aren't special people or extremely lucky people. They are regular folks who have learned to make a decision and apply certain immutable laws and principles that most people never learned about. You know the natural laws and you know the spiritual laws of God. You, you're way ahead of the crowd, way ahead. Listen, I want to help you grow. I want to help you receive your heart's desire. I want you to flip the script, so to speak. The Bible says Esther obtained favor in the sight of everyone that looked upon her. Okay. And Acts 10, at Cornelius' house, Peter said, God's no respecter of persons. So what God did for others, the, God, the people were talking about, what God did for Peter, what God did for uh, uh, every person that's ever succeeded, he'll, he can do for you. He's no respecter of persons. I'm Pastor Glenn Curry. Keep watching. Keep feeding your faith. Keep starving your doubts. And like and subscribe and follow below. And have a blessed, blessed day in Jesus' name.